answer us. Holy Spirit, we are gathered from every continent to come before you this afternoon and call your name. Holy Spirit, you will answer by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we believe it to be done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. Um, I want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. If you are there, say amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord seated upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. In that year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. This afternoon, we want to pray. I want to make you understand that what I just uh, read to you, Uzziah, who happened to walk under a king, at this time, within that moment, everybody was under this king, and they cannot see beyond until King Uzziah died. Now, until he died now, before the eyes of people begin to open, I pray for you today that your eyes will be open. Amen. Some things just have to happen before some things begin to happen. You would have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, and you are expecting the move of God. You are expecting uh, the miracle of God. You are expecting that God answered my prayer. But the point is, how have you been doing it? You know, sometimes we just follow uh, we follow culture. Sometimes we follow principle. Sometimes we just do it as people used to do it. Look at it. In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. The point is, what have you been doing before King Uzziah died? What have you been experiencing before King Uzziah died? And you said in your family, we never go beyond this level. And when you look at yourself truly, oh, my father never passed through this boundary before. And so, and my father made it. Uh -huh. If my father made it and he never passed through this level before, hey, it means I should be okay too with this level since I will make it like my father made it. And this perception has always been affecting you and have been affecting generations. But what we want to do today is to break the old pattern and activate the new pattern. And I tell you that the Holy Spirit will empower you, that you will be able to break existing pattern and you will be able to activate the new pattern that will get you to your promised land. Say it louder, Amen. Amen. And may I tell you, may I let you understand that it is the effectual fervent prayer the of the righteous man that avails more. I want to tell you that, that it is those that know they are God that will be strong and do exploit. I'm telling you for people who have not seen the hand of God before. Some people who have not experienced miracle before. Some people who have not really had the evidence of Christ in them before. God does not answer prayer. Before God died and tried and tried and tried, we were in a place and uh, they had somebody. If God speak to you, how will you know? Ah, he said, no, 
It's not like uh, not not like uh, uh, people like like us. The kind of people that pray and God answer. And, and, and God speak to them and they understand that language. Ah, uh, you'll be talking uh, of uh, like uh, Pastor Kumuyi. You'll be talking like uh, Pastor Yeseko and uh, and, uh, and stuff like that. But if you do not get to that realm, uh, there are possibilities that you pray and God not answer that prayer. No. Know that, know that, 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 uh, they, that know they that know they, they are God. They, they will be strong and they will do exploits. And, and so, so all I, I, I want you to do is to have faith that God answers prayer. What I want you to do is to believe in your mind that when you pray, God will answer that prayer and God will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. If you have said amen, say a louder amen. Amen. I want you to close your eyes now because God must speak to somebody today. God must open your mm -hmm. eyes today. That revelation you Amen. must see today. The impartation you must Amen. receive it today. And so I want you to pray and tell the Holy Spirit, whatever has been blocking my ear, whatever has been covering my face, tonight, Holy Spirit, take it away by fire. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Amen. <laughs> My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come before you against any property, any academy, any spirit that has been blocking my eyes. Take them away in the name of Jesus. Come and take them away. Burn them by fire. Eliminate them. In the name of Jesus, whatever we have to my prayer today, whatever we have to my prayer today, if somebody block them, the name of Jesus, take them away. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever the enemy has put to the eyes of seeing you and seeing you, whatever is the other Jesus, my Father and my God, take them away. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will take it away. Nothing will hinder you today. Block in my face. God will receive it from me. Hearing you in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless that voice. My Father and my God, we are praying in this season. We are praying this time, Lord. That as we are about to embark on this prayer today, my God and my Father, you will answer us by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clear every obstacle, take away stumbling block, and let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did I hear you say a lot of amen? Amen. I tell you, there are some people that are on mute. We need you to unmute yourself Amen. so that we will, we will hear your voice and we will know that you are with us. We will not be disturbed with uh, the network. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say hallelujah. 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 Now, the next section we want to go in now is a section of taking you to the next level. It's a section of breaking the past and embracing the future. It's a part of removing the whole system and installing the new system. And this kind of prayer, I don't know how you want to pray it today. But let me let me challenge you with uh, with one experience I have with one of our youth. We were in a prayer program and uh, we were to pray. And so I challenge the people that pray this prayer like this prayer is going to be your last. There is this one small boy that was in that prayer arena. That small boy should be around twelve or eleven. And so. Why people came out and they were passionate to pray. They were passionate to pour out their spirit. They are tired of their whole past. And this time around, they needed a new beginning. And so, by the time we begin this prayer, the prayer was massive. 
that prayer was heavy. I tell you, all of a sudden, when the power of God hit him like this, that he began to, if you see the way he was struggling and was struggling and was struggling, the prayer pattern was so powerful that day. And after that prayer, the young boy came to meet me. And he said, sir, when we were praying, and the arena was on fire, I saw myself in the forest, and I was tied with a rope. The rope was just all around me from my leg to my head. To, 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 to my head. And as the prayer was going on, I, it's like I felt some people that were loosing the rope. They were loosing me from that rope. They were loosing me from that rope. At the time, when I was able to come out like this, I, I was running. I was running. I felt some people running after me. I was running. I was running till I get to a point that I did not see anybody running after me again. I tell you tonight, whatever is pursuing you, today, today, the Lord will give you victory. Amen. In the name Amen. Of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want you to bow down your head. It's a season for prayer. Uh, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence taken by force. Let me tell you, what if King Uzziah did not die at that point? Then, that servant will have been there, looking unto the king. Only what the king says is the final. If the king says, all of you, nobody goes to church today, that is the final. If the king say, all of you, you perish today, that is the final. If the king said, there is no progress for your generation, that is the final. Oh. If the king say, if the king say, Giant, who is that Goliath that is standing on your way and say you will not you will not go forward and say you will not advance? I tell you, until that person dies, until that person dies, let me let me tell you one thing. This is November already. November, November already. Not in January again, not in February again, not in March again. I'm telling you this is the last half of the year. I'm telling you we are hand of the shadow of the year. In that year, the king will die and die. I also saw the Lord. What is that power that says we will not move forward? You are going to tell the Lord, every giant standing on my way, I command you to die this season. Oh my God, oh my my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, who is that Jaya, who is that Goliath, who is that desire that is standing at the hindrance to my progress, that does not want my destiny to come. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, oh God, yes, that my personality, that spiritual thing.
I tell you, after that prayer, two months later, the, 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 the miracle was already there. Oh, that was because King Uzziah was already eliminated. Mm. I don't know how yes, long Lord. you have been in that problem. I don't know how long you have been experiencing the power of Uzziah over your life. But I want you to pray and tell the Lord. Everything representing Uzziah in my life, I command you to die this season.
Somebody said uh, uh, last week or two weeks ago, somebody said, I have been having this dream and this dream have been very constant. He said, each time I will see myself in the dream and I will be pulling uh, some like white, white rope, like a thread, a thread, a clothes thread. I will be pulling it out of my mouth. And each time I'm pulling it out, it's coming with great pain. It's coming with great pain. And for these years, I've been pulling it out. It's very constant in my dream. He said, but the one thing that makes me afraid now among all the dream is that the dream I now have now, I now discover that I have put all the white rope, I have pulled them out. The, the, the one I now pulled out yesterday was the black one. Mm. And now, and I am very frightening because I don't know the implication of that. Ah. Mm. I said, see, the enemy want to cut your life short. Mm. The enemy mm. has taken your long life and taken it out. Mm. And the next one you are seeing now is spirit of death. Mm. You have to pray and work against it. And then we begin to pray. And we begin to pray. And we begin to pray. Suddenly, this demon show forth and say, yes, I am the one in charge. I am the one that is sent to come and cut a life short. And guess okay. what? I have been cutting it little by little, little by little, little by little. Mm. And now mm. I am there. I will kill her and she will not leave. Ah, it was time to now fight this battle. It was time to fight. I want to tell you today, I don't know the plan of the enemy for your life. But I tell you that God has a chronicle for you. He said, I know because I have towards you. They are because of peace and not of evil to bring you an expected end. God does not plan that you should die before your time. You are going to pray. Every power of darkness, every agent of darkness, every witchcraft activity working against my life. I want to cut my life. Holy Ghost, I'm God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. 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 Amen.
out of no fear. God will Recently, I've been taking some promises from, from the Genesis. We might have not taken it until the question was asked last uh, uh, week. That which was uh, this morning, something came to my mind. Uh, in my neighborhood, we have. Have three children. Uh, unfortunately, on this day, the three children they went to the uh, uh, I don't know how to call the and it would not say beach. Um, and then the first son went into the river. He didn't come out. The second was murdered. What's happening? He too went to go and take the post. It didn't come out. The third to the uh, the oldest one. Like, what's happening to these two? They have not come. Uh, they have not come out of the river. She too went to go and look for his. A sibling, you won't believe me. He didn't come out, and the family lost the three children at the time, just like that. Uh, I heard about it, and uh, I find it difficult to go and say hello to them uh, because of the situation. But along the line, me and my daughter we started on watching. But you know what surprised me? Anywhere I go in Charlotte, they are talking about the fate of these parents. You will never know that they lost children. They said, God give it to us, God take them. Anywhere I go, I continue to hear this voice from the people. And I decided, I came home. And I told my children, we will go and greet these people. I want to whom they are. My dear brethren, by the time I got there, you won't believe the mom was my classmate in the college year. I still got there. I greeted them. I didn't know. That's why that she was my my uh, my uh classmates that they were the one that lost the children because i was not expecting it to be sincere i'm telling you the truth so uh, we greeted them we did everything the woman was just laughing it, it, the way he, she was i was surprised i i know i didn't surprise i thought she came to greet them too but by the time i got down i met the husband the way the husband greeted me i knew they were the one so i greeted the husband very well now about last week or three weeks, uh, two weeks ago, then the woman was passing by my house. And I asked, are you living in this place? She said, yes. 
Okay, where are you living? She said the place I came to greet them. Who lost the children? I said, I'm very sorry. Who lost the children? She said, I was the one. My dear brother, I was so ah. Uh, I've never seen that kind of faith. You know, we have read a lot of faith in the Bible. I've never seen that kind of faith. And I asked, ah, who lost? She said, she said I was the one. And then said, oh, he said a lot of things. I said, you, you won't believe, despite our close friend, I didn't know you were staying there. I did not know you were the one that lost children. He said, God give them to me. God took them away. You can see the faith. Now, something that came to my mind. Many of us, we are struggling about our life. We are struggling about our work. We are struggling about money, our wife, our, ch our children, and many, many other things. We owe them a shift. We can, we are able to take care, to get where we want to want, to do whatever we want to want. But I learned from this woman that God gave it to me, all belongs unto God. And then, and now, as I was thinking about it this morning, something came to my mind. You know, all those directors like First Bank, like, uh, what is it? Uh, all this, uh, it, uh, all this first bank, union bank, it is I'm not in Nigeria now, I, but I know them before. By the time you see their managing director, you see the kind of car they are using, you will be surprised. Why? You will think that that company belongs to them, but it is all of us that is taking care of it for them. And they are using the interest on the money and everything to enjoy their life. What am I want to say? They do not owe it. If woman be can do that for the leaders, look, a, a, a good example is in Nigeria. They, they wanted to buy car now. They are booking car of forty billion dollars. Forty billion. I don't know what to Maybe it's naira or dollar. But let's see, let's use naira. Forty billion naira for themselves, and they are using our resources. Then we leave it, we leave it for them, for the way, how, whatsoever the way they can do it. And no, nothing we can say. So what am I trying to say? By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will tell Almighty God today that everything that belongs unto me. And you know what? All those leaders, if anything happens now, we will still go and defend them. We will see the poor people, they will go and defend them. That you cannot buy his house, you cannot take his car, you will not. Now, now, compare them to God. If we surrender all what we have, we surrender it to God. How is it going to be? So I want everyone for us to learn from that. And now call upon the name of the Lord. All this thing that is bothering me, all this thing that hold into my heart, all this thing that hold into my hand, all this thing I Oh, as if it is my knowledge, it's my understanding, it's my wisdom that bring them that bring them to me. From this today, from to this morning, from this afternoon, I surrender on I surrender unto you. Father, handle them for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Father, Let Almighty God, God, my children, my wife, my money, for the my house, my houses. My mother, my
dedicate the life of your wife. dedicate the life of your children. In my life. Amen. Thank you. In God. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Almighty God, we bless you and we worship you. We thank you, Father, thank because you, Father. you are our God. My Father and my thank God, you. we have come to you. We bring our request to you. We bring our heart desire with to you. Holy Spirit, answer us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have faith. We are not doubting. We know there is nothing you cannot do. Therefore, Lord, answer our prayers in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that Amen. no one among us will be feeble. We Amen. pray that no one among us will experience backsliding in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray our eyes will be focused on the cross. Amen. When the high of Peter, when the eyes of Peter leaves Jesus, he starts sinking in the water. 
Holy Spirit, our faith will not be wavering in you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. For everyone, Lord, Amen. that their faith are wavering, and they are doubting, and they are shaking, and it looks like you are far away from them. Holy Spirit, attend to them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray that the spirit of death is banished from among us. Amen. Amen. For everyone that is not experiencing joy in their home, Holy Spirit, you are God of divine. Bring about restoration to their home. Let there be Amen. joy. Amen. Let there be Amen. harmony. Amen. Let there be oneness. Amen. Let there be growth. Amen. Let there be fruitfulness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grant every heart's desire. And I pray, Lord, no Uzziah will drag anybody, will drag anybody to hell. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. Amen. And in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let us say it louder. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace to the grace together. If God gives you the opportunity, please tomorrow is gathering of the ego. All the pastors are still going to meet for prayer. Let's share the grace together. You shall witness the impact of prayer in your life. Jesus. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.